You want to know who the enemy is? It's these global treaties we didn't ratify that Obama is now putting us under and Congress isn't even allowed to read the new Trans-Pacific Partnership Treaty. WikiLeaks leaked one section of it and it was total regulation and censorship of the web. And let me tell you, WikiLeaks is a front for Google and others who don't want governments to take over the web because Google has been artificially intelligent for a long time and is now taking over the physical plane right now, putting their hubs in and taking over every major company out there, just so you know. So there's a fight inside the AI system, and I'm here to give you a newsflash, government already lost. That's the only reason Google released one of the 30 parts of that partnership. I've talked to folks that have been at these events as aides, and it is a total global governance official takeover happening right now, but that's a whole other subject. So how do you divert people while all this is happening? While the standard of living goes down for the average person, while deindustrialization takes place, while everything is done to ensure we can't have meaningful jobs in a future, with the media teaching school kids they're worthless and that humans are a cancer, with the medical tyranny, the, 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 the laced poison and a needle vaccines, what do you do while all this dismantling is taking place? This siege, where only the globalists are allowed to operate and consolidate power. Well, how would the British control India outnumbered about 10,000 to 1? How would other empires, the Romans, outnumbered 20, 30 to 1 in Germany and in uh, uh, Britannia and other areas in Gaul and Africa, North Africa? How would they do it? They would play the different tribes off against each other. And I've talked a lot about it. I recently reordered it because I couldn't find it. A collection of essays written to the Roman Senate by Julius Caesar, first king of the new Rome, they had kings before and they had their rise to power when they outlawed kings and then the kings came back and replaced the patrician class. But I, I went back and read that book again a few weeks ago, written by Julius Caesar. Pretty interesting, you know, to read what Julius Caesar actually wrote, to read what Adolf Hitler wrote. I've read Adolf Hitler's two books. He didn't just write Mein Kampf, he wrote one other, I forget the name. And when you buy those things at the bookstore, they think you love Hitler. That's how dumb the public is. No, I want to know what he said. You like reading a book written by Jeffrey Dahmer doesn't mean I want to put people in the refrigerator. I want to understand people like that. That's why I've read Das Kapital and the Communist Manifesto. Because I want to understand the enemy. But this is all a takeover plan. And there's no doubt now they're trying to cause a race war. No doubt they're trying to make this the issue. That white people and that police are the reason the dollar's devalued, are the reason there's crime on the streets, are the reason that, the, that there's any problems. And, and my issue is there is injustice. A lot of police departments are above the law. That's wrong. But the globalists are triggering the injustice they helped build and are now pointing the people in a racially based way at whites and police in an attempt to destabilize the nation. And it is a crime. We've got uh, Brown's stepfather. They're talking about indicting him for saying burn down the city. Well, I mean, it's pretty clear what he said. And if he doesn't get indicted, well, then next time somebody else, I guess, can say burn the city down. Ferguson Police Chief, a lot of discussion about charging Brown's stepfather with inciting riot. Violent agitators will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Well, you pretty much have to do that. Or a real civil war is going to start. And, and let me just give Louis Farrakhan and everybody else a little, little message here. It will not go good for the grassroots, whether you're black, white, or Hispanic, or Asian. And I don't think Farrakhan's stupid, and Farrakhan must know that the powers that be want this. So I ask Louis Farrakhan, why are you doing this? There's new clips of Farrakhan talking about killing people. Meanwhile, whether you're black or white, entire Detroit public lighting system is down. Yep, that's being reported by the Detroit newspaper.
The entire lighting system is down. That's the plan. Lights out in the Republic. <gasps> hey, Boomer. I learned in school today that 60% of our bodies are made of water. Good thing we have the Berkey system. It's the cleanest, best water ever. Mom says it's because the Berkey's filtration system cleans out the bad stuff and leaves only pure, delicious water. I know, right? You love it, too. Yeah, I'm thirsty, too. Let's go get some. Get Berkey clean water by calling 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Or visit GoBerkey.com. Your house is dark, vacant. You must be gone on vacation for a while. Thanks for all the jewelry. Don't be the next victim of a break-in. Go to faketv.com and discover a device that creates the illusion someone is inside watching TV and makes your home unappealing to would-be thieves. Don't these people ever leave? Starting at $24.95 and there's free shipping. Go to faketv.com or ask for it at your local hardware store. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. What disaster is so powerful it unleashes a chain of mass pandemics, economic meltdowns, and violent food riots all at the same time? NASA has already set the countdown timer, and right now, the 21st century apocalypse is less than 13 months away. Former CIA director James Woolsey says two-thirds of the U.S. population could perish. In a matter of seconds, the world as we know it will cease to exist. The world's economy will be wiped out. Mass riots will follow. Ancient diseases will reemerge. How will you shield yourself and your loved ones from this upcoming apocalypse? Go to darkestdays.info to find out proven methods of protecting yourself, your loved ones, and even your entire community when this worst-case scenario unravels. That's D-A-R-K-E-S-T-D-A-Y-S dot I-N-F-O darkestdays.info Go there before this life-saving information becomes unavailable to the large public. Go to darkestdays.info now. Man Managing your business and customers isn't easy, huh? Snapforce Customer Relationship Software may be just what you need. Snapforce CRM is a software solution that helps you manage everything important about your customers, from sales to marketing to service and support. All of your customer information is right there at your fingertips for easy access. It's time to take control of your business in a snap. Get your free trial at snapforce.com. That's S-N-A-P-F-O-R-C-E.com. Snapforce.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. We We've had an amazing year here at Supernatural Silver. We've truly enjoyed the fantastic response from thousands of people as they've tried our extraordinary product. And we're thrilled at the life-changing results people have. Our company email is continually full of happy, satisfied customers who thank us for the help they've received from Supernatural Silver. This holiday season, as you think of gifts to give your loved ones, consider giving Supernatural Silver a gift that can help provide good health and wellness, a gift that can change lives and make a real difference in a world where we are constantly exposed to dangerous health threats. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance. Give Supernatural Silver. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code HOLIDAY2014 for 30% off. And this holiday season, we wish you and yours the blessings of peace and good health from all of us here at SupernaturalSilver.com. Churches on fire, grocery stores and many marts robbed. People stealing the lottery tickets. This is legitimate because white people are inherently bad. It doesn't matter that only a very small percentage of white people in this country's ancestors had slaves. It doesn't matter if the guy getting clubbed to death in St. Louis didn't even speak English hardly and uh, was from Bosnia with no connection to black slavery. It's all legitimate. Time Magazine headline. 
when it's time to riot in defense of rioting. CNN, same thing. MSNBC, this is because America was founded on racism. Well, yeah, if you went to Africa at the time, blacks were selling blacks and Arabs were selling blacks and whites were still getting sold all over the world. And it, uh, serfdom wasn't abolished in areas of Germania until the 1880s. So again, imagine a thousand years from now, all we'll hear about if we are to survive as a culture is how white people, a minority on the planet, about 7% of the population, are the essence of evil. But notice who's saying that. Time Magazine, CNN, MSNBC, the White House, exacerbating, race-baiting, trying to get the police attacked, which will then legitimize the militarization and the paramilitary tactics that are absolutely horrible. Works perfectly, doesn't it? Congressional Black Caucus takes to the floor and puts their hands up saying, don't shoot. I wonder if uh, the black congressmen that they're doing that, I wonder how many times they've been attacked by white people physically. I mean, imagine if I walked around with my hands up when I saw black people. Oh my gosh, I've probably been attacked by black people 15, 20 times growing up in Dallas. I've been put in the hospital. My hell, oh, oh, you're black. It's your fault. You did it. A black guy attacked me. Oh, oh, oh. You'd be like, you crazy person. I'm not the one that did that. And the video I saw in New York of mainly white demonstrators, white liberals, all walking by, looking at the police like, how dare you, you pieces of filth. Just, oh my gosh, oh, Mr. Brown, oh, like, like, like they did it. I am not going to take this fake guilt where I'm not for Obamacare, so you call me racist? Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Oh, don't worry. Planned Parenthood, the literal, and I will use the word literally, because it literally is the Hitler eugenics arm in America. It started Hitler on record, funding him. Rockefeller Foundation called Kaiser Wilhelm Institute in Germany. Funded it, set it up, everything. They are calling for marches and trying to, oh, because they love black people. Why doesn't Louis Farrakhan come out against Planned Parenthood? If he has, I haven't heard it. Why doesn't he come out against what's, I mean, give me a break. This is all completely staged. The article's on Infowars.com. Without a hint of irony, Planned Parenthood joins... Hashtag Black Lives Matter protest. <clears throat> yeah, the 52% of blacks that aren't born because of abortion, I think they do matter. <laughs> but remember, that's from a blonde-haired, blue-eyed, white devil. Of course, Martin Luther King said, it's not the color of the skin, it's the content of your deeds, what you stand for. And I agree with that. In fact, they used to, to legitimize the transatlantic slave trade 500 years ago. When they started outlawing slavery in some areas of Europe, like Italy, white slaves were being outlawed. They said, what are we going to do? Well, the Arabs are running black slaves all over the place. But what do we say? Well, we'll say that they're basically the sons of Ham and have a mark of Cain, and that's why they're black. And so they're evil and they're devils. And so they deserve to be slaves. Oh, and now whites are inherently evil because we're the devil and have the mark of Cain. That's what the, the black liberation groups teach. I mean, can't people come up with anything new? But it's always an excuse to abuse somebody. In Africa, the UN will go in and get one black tribe to kill the other black tribe because they worship a different animal. They'll get one animus group to kill another animus group because one group follows the lion and the other group, you know, follows the, uh, the monitor lizard or the tortoise. This is the type of idiocy that we're dealing with here. Instead of tribally being based on the ideas of freedom. But let's go out to break with President Obama we're going to come back from break with President Obama. He says, youth that have tried to do everything right, that's right, burn buildings down, shoot at firefighters, shoot cops, uh, hammer people to death, uh, everything. They're doing everything right. And then all this does is smokescreen, a case we're going to cover when we come back. Staten Island police kill Eric Gardner with chokehold. And the word is, if the police don't get in trouble, there's going to be riots. Uh, this is a lot more legitimate case than Brown. We're on the mark.